Friends. <laughs> Hi, TP Friends from Tech Finance. Uh, I hope you become me fans in addition to TP Friends. All right, you friends, uh, this is Mark of Tech Pinas, and we're having quite a special uh, interview right now. This is Mr. Hugo Barra. He used to be with Google. He was the VP for product management of Android, and he's now the VP of uh, Xiaomi Global. And as you might have heard, I've already posted about it. Xiaomi is coming to the Philippines. As finally, after a long, long wait, I've uh, asked questions about the brand to my readers, uh, Hugo, and a lot of them were very excited. In fact, some of them even uh, emailed me their questions. I'm going to ask you some of the questions that my readers uh, okay. wanted me to ask you. Okay, so first, um, they, they want to know, of, of the many countries that want to get Xiaomi, of course, there's, there's a clamor for, for Xiaomi in so many countries around the world. Why did you choose the Philippines? Uh, also, a few reasons. First of all, we are focused on the Southeast Asia region. Just start, mm -hmm. uh, you know, because these are large markets uh, with a uh, very young population, very tech-oriented. You know, people that love spec phone specs and uh, uh, obviously also very interested in phones that have aggressive prices. Um, uh, so, collectively speaking, uh, if, you, if you look at Philippines along with Indonesia and Thailand and other markets, it's a very significant market uh, and it's one that's relatively close to us. Uh, Philippines uh, is following right after Malaysia, uh, uh, honestly because it's the one that's going to be ready first. Uh, it was the fastest you know, process amongst the remaining countries of you know, certification, customs, import, all that stuff. It was actually very smooth, um, so that's why we're here first. All right. Uh, and then in the next few weeks after that, we're going to be launching other markets too. Mm -hmm. uh, so it'll be around in the uh, in the Southeast Asia region, I guess, yeah. for like the next few weeks. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Uh, I just <laughs> came from Jakarta, and uh, you know I'm going to be coming back here pretty soon as well. Yeah, I hope so. You can like go to Visayas even now and even visit Boracay. We, I uh, beaches, really, yeah. really, really want to go to Boracay. Okay, so um, in terms of execution, Hugo, will uh, will you have a different approach to the Philippines? Will it be slightly different here, or will it be more or less the same as in other Southeast Asian countries? What are the considerations that you have yeah. by, when you bring your products here? Uh, so we want to sell online, uh, at least online to start with. So we're partnering with a major e-commerce player here uh, to do that, uh, and you know, selling online with all forms of payment supported including cash and delivery which is very important in this market All right. uh, we have uh, we're also very focused on service quality so we're going to have a hotline that you can call and you ask any questions get help uh, or if you have any, any issues with your product of course you can use that as well we're going to have seven walk-in service centers around the country yeah. that you can go to if you have any questions about your device uh, if you want to see a device if you don't have one or if you have uh, repair, you know, issue. If your device has a problem that needs to be repaired. Actually, that's a, uh, that's the biggest concern of a lot of Pinoy consumers. Right. Because if you're going to purchase your product online, where will you bring it in case it needs uh, so seven service after centers, sales support? Seven service centers around the country that you can walk into. And if you don't happen to live near one of these seven service centers, then we have 53 drop-off locations around the country. And you can drop off your device, okay. and it will fix it and return it to you in that same location as quickly as possible. And then you also have the plan. Uh, you, you're, you're also planning to open your Mi Home uh, yes. center here in the Philippines, so we're right? Planning a Mi Home in in, uh, in in Manila. Uh, yeah, so what exactly will it uh, be? So a Mi, Mi Home, Home is is a is a dedicated um, space just for Mi devices. Uh, okay. That's prim it's primarily a service center where you bring your device to get repaired, uh, but it's also a place where you can come in to check out me devices to play with them. So it's like uh, your concept. So it's like your concept center in the Philippines. It's like a concept center, uh -huh. but it's functional because that's where repairs take place. You know, we have a repair you know lab in the back and all that stuff. That's um, great. So we're planning to launch that here in the coming months. We're scouting for a location right now. Okay, so in terms of your distribution partner, Lazada is your current partner, right? Uh, will you be open to doing it with other uh, online stores? Because uh, personally, my favorite is Kim's store. Yeah, very much so. We're open to that. Uh, you know, Lazada is a partner that we've known for a while. Uh, they're someone we trust. Uh, we, we like their people. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're easy to work with. Uh, but we will absolutely, over the next few months, be uh, uh, working with other other online uh, sites, but also mobile operators and other partners. All right. We're looking forward to that. So Lazada is not your exclusive distributor? That's right, not exclusive. Okay, so you mentioned about uh, partnering with networks in the Philippines. How soon will uh, consumers be able to see your products bundled, for example, with Globe plans or smart 
plans, Smart and Globe, of course, being yeah. the biggest uh, networks in the Philippines. Yeah, we're working on that right now, and uh, we're hoping to make some announcements pretty soon with them. We're, well, we're within still the year, you go within, within this year. Oh, or? for sure, within this year, within the next couple months, for sure. Oh wow, that's great. With yeah. Smart or with Globe? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. We're talking to everyone, and we we prefer to work with everyone. Okay, that's great. Uh, and th- I don't know. Um, when you go to other countries, for example, but in the Philippines, there's this notion that uh, if a product is made in China, it's made in, if it's China made, it's it's uh, of low of, of lower quality, for example, as opposed to if it's made in other countries, for example, like the U.S. Um, how do you plan to? Uh, the, the, does Xiaomi intend to change the mindset of Filipinos in terms of looking at products that are um, obviously and they're proudly made in China? Yeah, so we definitely, uh, you know, embrace the fact that we are that our products are made in China. But I think the most important thing here is that there's a whole generation uh, of players uh, that I think are going to change that perception. You, not only uh, uh, us, me phones, but you look at Huawei, you look at Oppo, yeah. uh, you look at Lenovo. I mean, these are companies that are making phenomenal devices. They're world class devices. A lot of their R and D centers are in the United States and in other countries, right? So these are global companies that are making phenomenal quality products. It's not just us. Uh, so I think we're just part of that pack of new generation players who are showing the world uh, how to do amazing hardware. Okay, so my final question. Yeah. Of course, with uh, with the arrival of Xiaomi in the country, a lot of players, because I'm sure you've, you've already studied the, the market in the Philippines, there are lots of local players as well as the international players. Um, how do you think the market will change in the Philippines? Because of course, disruption is one of your uh, objectives in coming over, right? How do you think the market will change uh, with, with the with the presence of the local players, international players, with the arrival of Xiaomi? Uh, well, it's just the beginning for us. It's kind of too early for us to have a, a broad ecosystem influence. Of course, we're going to work up to that uh, you know, modestly and over time. Uh, I think ecosystems always always adapt, uh, and it's you know it's it's really best for consumers at the end uh, yeah. when there's a lot of competition. So you know we are embracing uh, every ecosystem that we're in. We think competition is healthy. Uh, we respect everyone else, uh, and we really look forward to uh, just being here and being here more often. All right. Thank you so much, Hugo. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers.